Did somebody say action? <laughs> Expect it in this fight. Ron Waterman has got to be the biggest and probably strongest guy on the card tonight. Strongest for sure. I trained with him uh, in my preparation for my UFC fights in Colorado. Very strong. And what Van, uh, Valentine has to do is um, exploit that strength and turn it into a weakness. That's it. Make him tired. They will probably take special rules right now because we got 22 pounds weight difference. But let's see if they tell us are knees allowed on the ground or not? Yes, they say yes, knees are allowed. So Valentine, that is pretty a tough thing to say. It's pretty gutsy of him to accept that because he got this big, huge 260 pound guy in Ron Waterman. Ron Waterman is a destructive fighter. Ron. Okay, Waterman has said that he knows that Valentine's going to want to keep this standing up, but Waterman, a former All-American Division II from the University of Northern Colorado, is probably going to take it to the mat at will. He's, yes, he's very strong, man. I, I, he took me down like, oh, hey, I'm by my back again. Nice. <laughs> He's got a very good base, strong base. That is good for Velt. I should get out, out of the corner. And out of it. It's a high shot by, and there he goes. Waterman gets the takedown. Velt should go close the guard. That's one thing for sure, especially with the rules that these are allowed. Cross face here already. It's a very good thing to do. Ron Waterman recently became a minister with Team At Impact, and they tour to preach the Bible. And I asked him if there was any uh, of a contradiction between what he does for a living and uh, what he, well, how he preaches, and he said that God needs people from all walks of life. That's well said. He also said that when they tour, that they rip phone books in half and everything. <laughs> it's a kind of... It's a good tour. I like to be on the tour. It could be fun. Uh, looks like he's going for a... Uh, is he going for a submission here, boss? No. Oh, he's going to start pounding away. Yeah, what he's going to have to try to do is pull his um, left leg out. Oh, half guard. does he have the key lock here? No, he cannot. Re yeah, actually, he can. He can do it. Yeah, because we're talking strength here. Uh, if Valentine keeps his arm around his head, then it's okay. If Ron is going to pass the head of Valentine over him, then he can do it. This, he can't. It, if you're a little bit flexible, you cannot finish it like this. Okay, uh, Ron Waterman's corner people, including his manager, Phyllis Lee, are saying, break it off. Uh, Ron is twisting it. And there's nothing there. No. He's got the head in between. There's no problem. He, now it's the problem. You see? He uh, passed the head. And there we go. You know, boss, we knew Waterman was strong. We knew he probably was going to be favored in this fight. But that was quick. At, uh, Two minutes and 18 seconds. <laughs> I, I guess it's two minutes and 18 seconds of round number one. Uh, it was a tap out by Valentine uh, over him. And Ron Waterman is here in pride. What a personality, what an interesting individual. I look forward to Ron Waterman coming back. Yep. So let this be a lesson for all the wrestlers at home. If somebody ever catch you like that, never let him pass your hand. Rule number one, there's nothing he can do. Here we go again. Watch this. The head is still caught, but now he's going to pass his head. Yeah, Valentine should have hold uh, right arm there. 
and don't let it pass it. But should he rolled it to the to the left? To, yeah. Also to the right. Turn him. To the right. Yeah. At least bridging, bucking is always a good thing to do. But watch this. At the moment he's going to pass it, it's going to be end of the story. And there we go. Yes, he passed it. Hey, again, let this be a lesson for you all. Two minutes, 18 seconds. I'm telling you, Ron Waterman, that's a strong guy.